Yo, hello, my name is Giovanna. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing another role play. It's called Peasant to Princess. So please like, subscribe, and enjoy. Bye for now. Once upon a time, there was a girl called Millie. She was super poor and she knew she needed to get a job fast. Oh, I'm so poor. What should I do? I know I need to make a living. <gasps> Wait a minute. <gasps> Wait a minute. Is that an ad that the queen needs a new maid? <gasps> that this could be a chance to make a living, to get a job. I better rush over there right now. So Millie rushed as fast as she could with her little legs. She, she ran and ran all the way to the queen's palace. She, re she went through the neighborhood. She went up a hill and then she finally arrived at the palace. When she got there, she said, oh, this place is so amazing. Let me head inside. Wow. Once Millie got inside, she gasped. She was amazed. Millie said, oh my gosh, this is what a palace looks like. It's so beautiful and huge. Millie saw in the distance over there Sab Queen Sabrina and someone else? Who could that be? But Millie was eager to walk over there. As she walked, she looked around. Whoa, this place is huge. As soon as she got there, she said to the, to the queen, Good afternoon, your queen, my, ma my majesty. Queen Sabrina said, Ew, another peasant. What do you want? Ugh. Um, I saw that you needed a new maid and I would like to apply for the job, thank you. So, Queen Sabrina said, Ugh. Patutu, come here now. Yes, my queen. Come and show this new peasant girl around. Hey, Patutu, right? Yeah, sure. My name's Millie. Hi, Millie. Hello, Patutu. Wanna be friends? Yes, yeah, sure. And we work so hard. Oh, okay. Is the queen mean? Yes, yeah, sure. Oh, okay. That's that's why she called me a peasant earlier. Okay, I guess we better get to work before the queen gets mad. Oi, you two peasants, go go and stop idling around over there, and go and get to work now. Yes, your majesty, yes, yes. Come on, Patutu. Let's go and get cleaning. So Mia and Patutu worked hard every day, cleaning the toilets, the bedrooms, and the whole of the palace. Every day they worked harder and harder. It was so tiring, but they needed to do this. They wanted to get a living. So Mia got hungry and decided to ask the queen if she could get a little snack. P hey, Patutu, I'm going to go and ask the queen if I can get a little snack. <laughs> I told you already, no food in this palace, all right? The queen doesn't give us food till 9 p.m. at night when it's time to go to bed, all right? So we walk all day without eating. That can't be right. If you're hungry, you should be allowed to eat. I, w I wonder why we're not allowed to eat all day. Hey, Queen Sabrina, I'm sorry to bother you, but could I ask if I could get a little snack, please? I'm super hungry. Ew, you peasant. Have you ever learned the rules? You don't get food until 9 p.m. Now go and clean my palace. It's not clean yet. Go get out of my sight. Shoo, shoo. <gasps> okay, Millie ran all the way back over to Patutu. Hey Patutu, she didn't give me any food. Oh, I told you already, please, let's get back to work. Okay Patutu, you're right. So Millie and Patutu got back to work. As they kept on working, Millie needed to go to the toilet. Hey Patutu, I need to go to the toilet, be right back. Yeah, sure, don't be late. Okay, so Millie walked over to the toilet, but then she saw Queen Sabrina. She decided to stay. 
Millie was curious of what Sabrina was doing. Sabrina said, "Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the prettiest of them all?" Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? And the mirror said, in a deep, deep voice, "You, my queen, are the fairest of them all." I thank you, y'all. And then Sabrina said, "I mean, Queen Sabrina said once again, 'Mirror, mirror on the wall, give me a dog.'" And then there was a big flash, faster than lightning. Millie closed her eyes, and when she opened them, a dog appeared before her eyes. Millie gasped, "Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh!" That mirror is magical. But then the queen was about to come back. Then Millie had to get out fast. Millie ran. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Better get out of there before the queen sees me. Phew! Made it by the skin of my teeth. Hey, Pat Patutu, just back cleaning. So they kept on cleaning for the rest of the day. And then when it became night, at night, Millie. Millie decided not to tell Patutu anything, or no one, for a matter of fact. She thought to herself, "Should I tell Patutu, or should I keep it a secret?" Hmm. Maybe I should try it out, and maybe after I could tell Patutu at night. Millie couldn't wait till the till the dusk of night. She waited and waited, but then finally. When it was time to go to bed, after she changed, finally it's night time. I can go and see what that magic mirror does at the at twelve midnight. Yeah, that's my plan. Now better get some shetai. Easy, 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 easy. At twelve midnight, <gasps> I think my plan can finally work. I'm going to creep out of my room. So as Millie walked out of her room. She tiptoed past the queen's room. <gasps> be better be exceedingly quiet. She tiptoed down the stairs. Yes, I made it. She tiptoed all the way to the bathroom. Nearly there, nearly there. I must get there. Once she got there, she decided to. Hmm. What should I wish for? I'm going to go easy for now to see if it actually works. I'm going to wish for, hmm, let's see, <gasps> beautiful long hair. Yes, that's what I'll wish for. So Millie decided to make the wish. Okay, let's see how this works. Is there any buttons? No, I think I just do what the queen did. <clears throat> mirror, mirror on the wall. Can I please have beautiful and long locks? The mirror didn't say anything, but it was a flash once again. Millie closed her eyes tight. She didn't know what was going to happen. And then when she opened them, <gasps> oh my gosh, I have beautiful long hair now! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! But it's twelve midnight. And it's getting late. I better go and get some shut eye up. So Millie crept out of the toilet. She crept all the way to the stairs. Yes, made it back to the stairs. She crept. All the way past the queen's room, better still be quiet. And she crept all the way back to her room. Okay, back. Is Patutu still sleeping? Yeah, she is. Better get some shut eye now. The next day. Oh, finally time to wake up. Patutu, Patutu, it's time to get up. Come on, Patutu. Oh, leave me, Millie! I'm so tired. My bones are aching. Oh, come on! You can't be that tired. It's time to get for another day of work. Patutu, Patutu, we better hurry before the queen is mad at us. So Thanks. Patutu and Millie rushed down the stairs, eagerly waiting for their task. Hello, my queen. What's her task for today? The queen said angrily. Both of you go and clean all my castle from top to bottom, every corner, every room, every nook. Now go, get out of my sight. Yes, Your Majesty. 
Shoo, shoo. The queen grew furious and mad that Millie had long locks. She was super duper mad. She decided to go back to her magic mirror and ask her who's the fairest in the land. Once Queen Sabrina got to the mirror, she asked, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? The mirror said in a deep voice, You, my queen, is the fairest of them all. The queen felt a little bit happier, but little did she know the mirror was lying to her. But when she came out, she didn't know anything. Maybe it's because she has such a small brain and such a big crown. Later that night, Hey Patutu, Patutu, I have a secret to tell you, but I'm going to tell you once we get to our bedroom. Come on, let's go. Really? Alright. Alright, come on, let's go. As Patutu and Millie went upstairs to their room, once they got there, Millie spilled the beans. I will show you something at the middle of the night, but for now we need to get some shut eye. Really? Okay. Yes! Yes! Now come on, let's get some shut eye. Later that night, when it was 12 midnight, when everyone, and I think everyone was fast asleep, except for Millie. Millie couldn't sleep. She got up and she woke Patutu up. Patutu! Psst! Patutu! All right, let's go. Come on. So they tiptoed out of their room and they tiptoed past the queen's bedroom. But then Pati Patutu slipped. Patutu, you're making so much noise. They crept all the way to the bathroom. Follow me, Patutu. Come on, this way, this way. All right, I'm coming. Okay, it's about this mirror. It's, it grants your wishes. <laughs> you're funny, you know that can be true. Patutu, you have to believe me. Look, let me show you. Move out of the way. Move, move. Yeah. I'm going to wish for a beautiful dress and you're going to too. too. You're going to wish for beautiful hair and a beautiful dress. Let me show you. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Give me, please give me a beautiful dress. And then, with a flash, Millie had a dress. Patutu couldn't believe her eyes. <gasps> Millie, this is not possible. I know, right? Now you make a wish. Wish for beautiful hair and for a dress like me. Mirror, mirror on the wall. I wish for a beautiful hair. And then with flash, she instantly got... Oh my goodness, I look so beautiful. Why don't you make a wish like a beautiful dress like me? Yes, that's a good idea. I'm gonna make another wish. Make it, make it. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Can I get a beautiful dress? More beautiful than Princess Sabrina's dress? Then, without immersing anything, once again! Whoa, now we're both pretty and we have matching makeup! Yes, we better go to the bed before the Queen sees us. Yes, it's very, very late. We've been here for like an hour. Looks like it's the next morning. Better wake up, Patutu. Psst, Patutu, it's morning. Get up. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's go and see the the queen yeah come on let's go down they ran over to the queen eagerly waiting for their morning duty hello my queen what is our duty for today the queen saw their beautiful faces their beautiful clothes and worst of all their beautiful hair the queen was furious that she turned red she said oh why are all of you so pretty? Go and clean the whole entire house and no food today. Yes, your majesty. So they went to go and clean once again. The queen knew there was something fishy going on and she had to get to the bottom of it soon or she might lose her place as number one. So she went over to the mirror as fast as she could to go and ask if she was still the fairest of them all. She ran down to her mirror. She asked, mirror, mirror, on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? The mirror said in a deep, deep voice and unsure. Um, um, the fairest of them all is Millie and Patutu, my queen. The queen was furious. 
She was furious to hear these words come out of the mirror's mouth. She ran away as fast as she could. She thought to herself, I must get rid of those two. I need to come up with a plan. Hmm, maybe I should... Yes, I should get them locked up and keep them in the dungeon for 20 years. She went back to her throne angrily and frustrated to go and sit back on her throne, just immediately looking at them. That same night, Mia woke up at 12 midnight. She got up and she woke up Patutu. Psst, Patutu, come on, it's time to get up. Do you want to make another wish or not? Yes, I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm so excited. Shh, don't make nice. I know, come on. Come on, Patutu. Wait, let me make my wish first. Hmm, wait a minute. I want to know if the queen is the rightful queen. I'm going to ask the mirror. Um, let's see how this works again. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Is the queen Sabrina the rightful queen? And the mirror said in a deep voice, No, she's a mean evil queen. She's not the queen of anything. <gasps> she's not the rightful queen. Did you hear that, Patutu? Yes, I always knew it because she's so mean. I know, right? I'm going to ask the mirror one more thing. Who's the rightful queen of this kingdom? The rightful queen of this kingdom is you. <gasps> oh my gosh! I'm the rightful queen. Did you hear that, Patutu? <gasps> I'm so flabbergasted, you heard? Yeah, I am. Um, so I'm going to ask for a dress. Maybe you can as well. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Please, can I have a dress and a crown since I'm the rightful queen? The mirror didn't say anything. A flash happened once again. The biggest one of all. <gasps> oh my gosh. You sure look good. Thank you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. The following morning. Oh. It's morning once again. Hmm, what should I do with Sabrina now that she is not the rightful queen? Well, let me go and meet her downstairs. Millie went all the way downstairs to co go and confront Queen Sabrina. Or should I say, just Sabrina. Why, hello there, Sabrina. Sabrina was furious to see that she had a crown on her head and she was more fairer and more beautiful than her. Sabrina said, what are you peasant doing in that beautiful dress and why do you look more prettier than me? Well, Sabrina, you're not the rightful queen and you never were. So if you will excuse me, please. Sabrina said, no, never. You will still work for me like always. So then Millie decided to call the guards. Guards, guards, please come and pick up um, a girl named Sabrina and throw her out of my castle. Once the guards came, they threw Sabrina out of the castle. Immediately, Sabrina said, I will come back and avenge myself. Yeah, bye. Don't let the door hit you on the way out, Sabrina. Finally, the castle is mine. I can't believe I'm still the princess. Millie was a kind, smart, cunning and beautiful princess. She was kind, she was nice, she treated everyone with care. Everyone in the kingdom was happy. You guys must be wondering what happened to Patutu. Patutu was a queen's well. She's a queen of a kingdom called Jubiland. It's not too far away from here so I can always visit. The reason why she was the rightful queen of that is because Sabrina's evil sister as well wasn't the rightful queen of that town either. So Patutu was. That's why she's over there and not here with me. I'm so happy that Sabrina and her sister are gone now. Right, Patutu? Yes, so we're both queens. I know, right, Patutu? Best friends forever, right? Yep. So we came all the way from being a peasant to now princesses. Yay! The moral of the story, guys, is to never be mean to anyone and treat people equally and treat people how you would want to be treated. Let me down in the comments below if you treat people equally and treat people how you would want to be treated. 
And don't say mean things to other people that you wouldn't like people saying to you. Bye! So I love you guys. Please subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave a like on this video, guys. And tell me down in the comments below if you want more role plays like this. I love you. Peace! Yeah.